Hi there, we're going to take you through some features and a bit of a review of the DeLonghi Bean to Cup Espresso and Cappuccino Machine. Uh, the model number is ECAM44.66B and I'm basically going to show you through some of the features, some of the controls and why I think this is um, a very good solid coffee machine. So. If we start, we can see that the machine looks very, uh, very futuristic, very solidly built, and uh, uh, looks a really great addition in the in the kitchen. And so, let's start at the top. So here at the top, we have um, a heated cup shelf, which can be useful. And then here we've got the section where where um, we actually put the coffee beans in and you will quickly see there that we've got um, a grinder adjustment which will be really good, really powerful, can actually change the strength of the coffee um, so the coffee beans go into there and if I just put that, that back on and then actually this machine will also um, take ground coffee, pre-ground coffee so um, that's the little section that that bit goes so quite a few options in terms of that bean to cup. So we make our way down and we've got um, this um, we've got the control panel and I'll talk you through that a bit later. You've got very simple one button touch uh, options um, but we can go through that in a bit. Then if we come down we've got the bean the bean uh, bean spout so adjustable. So depending on the size of your coffee coffee cup, um, and then to, just to the side here, we've got the hot water spout. So um, if you want to just get some hot water very quickly and to top up or supplement your coffee making, um, that's that bit. And this is actually where the milk container uh, goes as well. And I'll take you through that a bit later. And then we move on to um, the cup tray. And it actually um, collects collects uh, excess water. Um, it runs through some rinse cycles when you turn the machine on and off, and um, you can either catch that in a in a separate container or just let it drip drip through into this bit. And once you need to empty it, this little red red bit here will uh, will, will pop up and let, let you know. And then inside here, um, you can pull this out. And then this is where your um, made coffee pods um, pop out after they've been um, been ground and used as part of your coffee making. Uh, the other the other key bit is the obviously the the water tank. So the water tank slides it fits really neatly neatly here, and um, I, I'd say it's a pretty healthy size. Um, you can see I've got it two two thirds of the way full there. I'd say on full full tank you can easily get um, five to six um, cups, including the rinse cycles. So let's take a look at the control panel. It's very simple. Um, we've basically got um, uh, an over overriding menu button, which you can use especially on initial setup, set language. And a, a number of uh, a number of the background options. You've got an OK button, which is the con confirmation button, which you'll use throughout. And they've got a really nice um, digital display, which is telling you exactly what uh, what coffee setting you have. And so this button here is where you can select the length of your coffee. So short, standard, long, and extra long. Really simple. And you can see the um, specific values for those uh, those lengths in the manual, but they're pretty much as you would expect. And then you can see it says strong taste underneath it. This button here is where you select the strength of the taste. So extra strong, pre-ground, extra mild, mild, standard taste, strong taste. Uh, my, I like extra long coffees that are quite strong. Um, so as you can see really simple to make those settings then underneath we have um, this is where you press for hot water and then uh, this will be a very quick um, 
long coffee, which you can, uh, it's all pretty much designed to be one, one, pu one push of a button. Then, something quite special about this particular um, uh, machine, we have um, cappuccino and a milk menu. Yeah, we've got a separate milk menu for um, your coffee making. And so, and that is the reason why I have added the milk container. Um, so these, these menus don't work without the actual milk container um, connected. So if we just have a very quick look at the milk container. Um, you can see it's a very nice, uh, very nice shape for um, fitting in the fridge. And that's where, where I keep it. Um, so it's, there's not a lot of faffing around refilling. You just keep, keep that unit in the fridge. And then um, it's got some of the different options around um, the intensity of the froth. So from the from the left hand hand side, that's kind of low lower froth, um, mid middle setting, and then the full froth. And then um, it's got a clean option. So again, every time you use this, the milk container bit, it will run through a clean a clean cycle of the nozzle. So the milk menu we can see that you can cycle through the different types of um, milk based coffees and these are preset um, preset within the machine um, or you can just have hot milk and literally when you settle on the milk based coffee that you want you just confirm with an OK and then off, off the machine goes and we'll see that a bit later and the same from a cappuccino um, point of view, you just push that button and it will start making a cappuccino. And the, the one thing I should say is with all these options, uh, there's a lot of programmable elements to it. So if you, if you want the length shortened or increased, you want a larger cappuccino, you want a larger latte, you can adjust all of them yourselves and the unit will remember that. So that's a pretty powerful option. And then, if we just follow this um, these controls through, this is where you have one cup or or two cups. So I like americano, so I have extra long, strong two cup. It has a nice uh, nice large cup of coffee, and uh, that's pretty much the the run through of the control panel. It's um, very simple to use and all really designed to be a one touch affair. Okay, let's make a coffee. So I'm actually gonna make a cappuccino. So you can see that I have got my glass in there. I've got the milk spout nozzle pointed in and I've got the coffee bean spout um, pointed. And so I want to make a cappuccino. So it really is as simple as pushing the cappuccino button. So you can see it will be saying preparation underway. And then we can just wait, wait for that to um, start its thing. grinding just then. Lovely smell at this point. There you have it. Very simple, quick cappuccino. So what I really like about this machine is with all of these options, you really can tailor that perfect drink for yourself and, um, and the machine will remember it. 
So it's uh, done in a very simple way, but actually you total all those options up and you can get quite sophisticated. Okay, so let's now make a nice long black coffee. Um, very simple, so if we, um, I, as I said previously, I like extra long coffees, I like quite strong tastes, and actually I want two cups, so I've got a nice long cup of coffee. So again, it's as simple as just pressing that button. And the progress bar begins. It's not actually as noisy as you thought it would be. Um, I certainly thought that the machine would uh, be a lot louder, the grinding um, especially, but it's not. Um, other, other features is that you can actually set an, a timer for the machine to come on, um, so you can already have it, have done its pre-rinse uh, work through and heat, heating up of the water, which to be honest takes seconds anyway, but it can be there ready to be used um, at the timing of your choice. Um, see a lovely long coffee. So let's just have a look at where those coffee coffee granules have gone. Um, the lower tray just simply detaches and then you have this um, collection container here that simply pops off. If I just turn around that you can see where I've made quite a few coffees and uh, you can see where how those shots, the waste from those shots have come out and then you just drop those Put those in uh, in your bin, and then that's pretty clean. It, I'd say that the machine is almost self cleans and self looks after itself. So there's obviously some some maintenance over a longer time period, but um, it's it's just a great package all in one. And um, actually, what I haven't spoken about yet is the quality of the coffee. And the coffee quality is is really good I'd say um, on a par if not better than your uh, than your coffee shops that we um, we all like to drink from um, but really neat package and, and you see it just looks really great on the kitchen kitchen desktop so um, yeah thanks for watching <laughs>